All right, Vikings. Um, one of the elementary teachers asked if I would do a first chapter Friday, so I'm going to introduce a new book to you each week. I'm only going to read one chapter, and in hopes that you will want to check out the book and read it, and maybe broaden your horizons off of um, the Dog Man and the Diary of the Wimpy Kid and the Captain Underpants book. So here we go. This is Crenshaw by Catherine Applegate. Chapter one. I noticed several weird things about the surfboarding cat. Thing number one, he was a surfboarding cat. Thing number two, he was wearing a t-shirt and it said cats rule, dogs drool. Thing number three, he was holding a closed umbrella like he was worried about getting wet, which when you think about it, it's kind of not the point of surfing. Thing number four, no one else on the beach seemed to see him. He grabbed a good wave and his ride was smooth, but as the cat near Shorty made a mistake of opening his umbrella. A gust of wind yanked him into the sky and he missed a seagull by seconds. Even the seagull didn't seem to notice him. The cat floated over me like a furry balloon. I looked straight up. He looked straight down. He waved. His coat was black and white penguin style. He looked like he was heading somewhere fancy in a hairy tuxedo. He also looked very familiar. Crenshaw? I whispered. I glanced around me and saw sandcastle builders and frisbee tossers and crab chasers, but I didn't see anyone looking at the floating umbrella-toting surfer cat in the sky. I squeezed my eyes shut and counted to ten slowly. Ten seconds seemed like the right amount of time for me to stop being crazy. I felt a little dizzy, but that happens sometimes when I'm hungry. I hadn't eaten since breakfast. When I opened my eyes, I sighed relief. The cat was gone. The sky was endless and empty. What? inches from my toe the umbrella landed in the sand like a giant dart it was red and yellow plastic decorated with pictures of tiny smiling mice on the handle printed in crayon were the words the bumper shop belongs to crenshaw i closed my eyes again i counted to ten. One, two, three, four, ten. I opened my eyes and the umbrella or the bumble shot or whatever it was had vanished, just like the cat. It was late June, nice and warm, but I shivered. I felt the way you do in an instant before you leap into the deep end of the pool. You're on your own somewhere else. You're not there yet, but you know there is no turning back. Here's the thing. I'm not an imaginary friend kind of guy. I hope that you want to check out Crenshaw. It is available in our Media Center book hub. Um, so go put it on hold and get reading. I hope you enjoy First Chapter Friday, and I'll see you again next week for another edition.